Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Savage Avengers issue number five. This was a wild book, but was it good? I'll tell you what. I'm going to tell you five things about this book, and you're going to decide for yourself. Let's get started with who made the book. So, we got writer Jerry Duggan, artist Mike Diodato Jr., color artist Frank Martin, letters VCs Travis Lanham, cover David Finch and Frank Diarmana, and variant cover Valerio Scheide with Mattia um, I. Ayacano, Ayacano, did the best I could with that name. Carlos Lau was easy enough for a graphic design. Stanley and Jack Kirby created the Avengers, and Robert E. Howard created the man himself, Conan. So, number one with this book is going to have to be that art. Wow. Backgrounds when there needs to be a background, no background when there doesn't need to be a background. Amazing colors and, and art and just like powerful images coming right off of the freaking panels, off of the page, right into your face. What I want to do, I want to make this like gladiatorial arena uh, combat sports. And I want to give um, uh, Diodato Jr. and Martin, I want to give them swords and let them go off and attack all the other art team. And you know what? Okay, maybe... Maybe I just went a little bit too far with that. I'm going to apologize, but I'm not going to take it back. Anyway, so let's get talking about number two with this book. So much action. This comic book was just, dude, let, let me just put it to you this way. There was so much action in this book that even though I'm sitting on my ass, I'm not on a treadmill, I'm not chasing down bad guys, I'm not punching wizards in the face. Nah, I'm just sitting here looking at a comic book and I get to the end of this comic book and I realize I'm out of breath. So either I'm really out of shape or this was a wild, wicked good comic book. I know I'm kind of tainting the, uh, the, the judging pool that you're doing right now by, you know, adding all these amazing, like, dude, I've got nothing but positive adjectives for this comic book, dude. In fact, let's get on to number three about this comic book. Venom calling Conan Diaper Man. I yeah, know this is a really easy one, but I'm sorry. That was just such a great moment <laughs> that it deserves its own number. Okay, let's talk about... I'm serious about that. Let's talk about number four in this comic book. The diminutive warrior from Pabst that Conan met and respected. The only one he actually respects genuinely and cares about. And even now, he's going to be looking for his own version of Sneak Blades. This is clearly Wolverine. Pabst is Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer. Um, yeah, and dude, <laughs> I think it's John Cena's favorite beer. It was my dad's favorite beer for a while until, like, you know, we were able, he was able to get his hands on Budweiser. But anyway, um, it was Meisterbrow before that, so whatever. Uh, I'm not here to do advertisement for beer companies unless you all want to pay me. In the meantime, what I am here to do is talk about there is seeds in this comic book. Lots of seeds. We get a future story that's going to happen approximately one year from now where these guys, you know, I'm not going to tell you. Read the comic book. You'll understand. Go out and purchase this comic book and read. Just You can't even just read this comic book. You have to experience this comic book. That's how sick this issue was. Dude, I know I had some problems with the previous issue. Those are all gone now. Those are all gone now. And I realize these first five issues were solely to plant the seeds for all the amazing issues that need to be resolved as this comic book continues and as I continue on this comic book. Wow. Wow. So let's get talking about number five with this story. And that is Conan. Um, what was this? Conan. Um, oh, geez. The best, the best part of this entire comic book had to be Conan slamming Wolverine's arm by the elbow into this giant demonoid beast's uh, head with a Venom symbiote hammer. No, I'm sorry. Just comic books do not get better than this. Think about what I just said. Read the comic book if you did not read this comic book. Think back to what you read if you did, which you should have. This is an amazing comic book. <laughs> Holy crap. That scene alone it's just, like, that's something that not only does this need to be a poster, this needs to be a statue. I might start making a statue of this right now because this was an amazing scene that I just looked at. And I'm just, I'm, I'm appreciating the hell out of the writing of this, the, the drawing of this. This scene was epic and worthy of the song of praise that we would otherwise reserve for gods because, wow, I, I could not believe what I was seeing when I'm sitting there looking. I'm like, I... I, I have nothing bad to say about this. Nothing. In fact, if the next comic book, if the next issue sucks, which I don't see how it could, I would probably still say it's good just because I'd still be at a high from this one moment alone. Guys, 
get this comic book. Get this comic book. You will not be sorry for it. Just like I'm not sorry for saying what I said about the R-Team and Swords. Okay, guys, I'm done. Professor Bell Comic Book University. Class dismissed.